Hello, welcome to You Can Too. I'm Dave Strudell, a member of Muskegon Community College's business faculty and program coordinator for marketing, management, and entrepreneurial studies. You Can Too is a campus-wide philosophy that encourages students of all ages, regardless of their major or area of interest, to consider business ownership as a career path. This program features discussions with area business owners and support organizations which will highlight how they became entrepreneurs or how they support entrepreneurs and talk about issues important to people starting out in business. Today we're meeting with Cindy Rood, owner of Big Apple Bagel, and we'll be talking to her about how she selected a franchise. Hi Cindy. Hey David, how are you? I'm doing well, thank Good. you. The wonderful place you have here. Oh, thanks so much. Uh, you're welcome. Can we sit down over Bagel and chat about it? You bet, let's go. Okay, great. <laughs> Tell us about yourself, Cindy. Well, my name is Cindy Rood, and I own and operate Big Apple Bagel. We're on the corner of Apple and Quarter Line. It's a muffin bakery cafe, so we've got muffins, bagels, and cream cheese, and coffee drinks that we are made fresh every day. I own it with my husband, Scott, and he um, is a graduate of MCC, and, but I operate it, so <laughs> the best of both worlds. Tell us about Big Apple Bagel. Well, Big Apple Bagel is a relatively small franchise, and it originates out of, uh, actually, Illinois, in the Chicago area. And being a small franchise, um, we uh, buy everything through the franchise, actually. So it's, the, it's coffee that we get through Brewster's Coffee, which is in uh, Portland, Oregon. Our muffins are made from scratch and made fresh every day, as are the bagels, made from scratch every day. So yeah, it's, it's really, it's, it's always a fun place to be, especially in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> what made you decide to go into business in the first place? Well, we had a lot of experience. Um, prior to this, my husband and I operated uh, Pleasure Island Water Park, and we did that for many years. And towards the end, we were on our own, and we did a lot of food service, and um, we did all aspects of the business at that time, um, towards the end. and. We knew that Pleasure Island was going to be sold, and we, they sold it for the real estate value of the property there, and that we had new opportunities ready for us. Now, we had been doing this for 15 years, the water park for 15 years. And so thinking that we could do it ourselves, we decided to, to branch out into, into new opportunities. At that time, 13 years ago, bagels were a relatively new thing in Muskegon and the coffee shop, the coffee houses and whatnot. So we thought this was going to be a golden time for us to try it. So that's how we started it. Actually, we were at a um, buying show in Chicago and my husband went to the Franchise Mart. Why did you decide to buy a franchise as opposed to start from scratch? Yeah, well, we've done both actually um, with the, with the um, business that at one point we had five stores. This store, we did from scratch. We did everything on our own. This was our first store that we did. And it was through the franchise mark that he saw the information. And we had seen them in Grand Rapids and we knew about them from before. But, um, and really at that time, Muskegon didn't have anything like that. So um, that's why we did it. Um, so we built this one from scratch. And then as we got into it, um, my husband had a different job at the time and he was laid off. And so he came into the business. And at that point we thought, oh, we can do this. <laughs> So then we bought five other stores um, at different times in Grand Rapids. And then he decided to do something different. And then, at that, then we sold off all the other stores at that point. And so now we just have our original store right now. So we've done both. And um, I don't know which I would do more. <laughs> <laughs> there are lots of franchise opportunities out there. Why did you select Big Apple Bagel? Um, at the time, we thought it should be food. It would be something that, that, we, that I knew well from the Pleasure Island experience because I was real instrumental with some of the food service um, areas there and I had that background. And prior to, um, in, in, after the bagel, sh or after the um, Big App, the Pleasure Island and going into, before we did this, I had a fudge candy store in the mall and I sold fudge as well. And so at that time, having the opportunity to see some of the different franchises that were available, we just thought this was a good fit for the area. 
as we thought this location that we're at on Apple and Coeur d'Alene was a perfect location for, the air, for a bagel shop. Um, as it turned out, it, it was, having the location and proximity to the colleges, both colleges, um, easy access on and off of the expressway, and the hospitals close by, those were all good um, criteria for a bagel shop. Excellent. Once you made the decision, what was the process and how long did it take you? It took us about 18 months to two years from start to finish. You have to go through that whole application process and they accept you and you put your money down and um, you know, this was, we built out this, we built this location, um, so we had the build out and the time that we needed to finish all the building and everything here, so that was part of what took so long, and ordering all the equipment and making sure it's all scheduled to get here in the right time, so. What are some of the advantages of owning a franchise? Well, some of them are the systems that are already in place. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. It comes with all the systems and the control and the procedures for doing everything. Mm -hmm. And that was attractive to us. And to be honest, when we first were talking about doing it, I wasn't sure if a franchise was going to be for me because I always thought that I'd like to do my own thing. And, and I do like to do my own thing, but really this franchise allows me a lot of flexibility that I can do some of those things as long as I stay within the parameters. And so, but the, that's for me, the systems and procedures and, and buying power too, because we buy everything, you know, as a group, we have a group buying power with all that. So we get some good pricing when it comes to those things. So that probably is the best part. Okay. Are there any disadvantages? Yes. <laughs> um, for me, uh, is the royalty. You know, is that where, I mean, it's every month there's a royalty that goes out that, you know, could be in my pocket, but instead it goes to the, the franchise and it goes to, you know, the, the marketing fund, which I really, I hate that part of it, but I love it also because, you know, they might take out that much every month, but it's there and it, it encourages me to, to use that marketing money or whatever I need to do um, and to keep things fresh and always going. Okay. What is a royalty? A royalty is um, a fee, it's kind of like a, a surcharge that we pay to the franchise um, to be able to use their name and their systems and their procedures that we have. And so they take out, you know, like 2% for um, just general, general sales and then another 1% for our marketing every month right there. So that's an ongoing expense. So I'm, I've paid for the franchise a long time ago. <laughs> But that's an ongoing, <laughs> an ongoing um, obligation. <laughs> there you go. What advice would you give someone who may be considering buying a franchise? Do your homework, and you know, to see what if there's other like things in the area in which you live, because that's the best indicator of what the future will bring for you. I think with that. Um, when we first opened here and before we opened and when we, it was just the germ of an idea, I went to the stores in Grand Rapids and the one on Lake Michigan Drive, one that we ended up buying <laughs> later on. Um, but I went in there and I said, told them what I was looking to do and I said, I just want to get a feel and see if it's something that I think I'm going to like before we put all this money down into it. And I said, I will work for free and I just want to be able to get an idea of what I'm getting myself into. And so I worked for weeks. I went, you know, two or three, four days a week, and I would go at different times of the day to get the different um, shifts that were, were going on just to get a feel if I was gonna like it or not. And I knew then that I liked it, and I could do so much better than what they were doing <laughs> at the time. And so, um, and, and that worked out for me, and they did not turn me away. <laughs> Finally, what would you say to people who are considering opening up their own franchise? Um, well, again, to really do your due diligence on there. I mean, it's, it's not for everybody. Um, you know, for me, I've been here for 13 years and I still work seven days a week. Um, and that's my choice. But I feel like being hands-on allowed me to be here for 13 years so far. And to me that was it's important and you know I might not be scheduled a person on Saturday or Sunday but I'm here every Saturday or Sunday just to make sure everything is going the way that I want it to be because it always runs differently you know when when I'm here and then when I'm not here 
So I started a successful franchise, and you can too. As you heard, Cindy Root bought a franchise. Does starting or owning a business doing what you love to do sound interesting? Learn more by calling me at 231-777-0304. Remember, there are millions of people like Cindy that have started successful businesses. You can too. If you have comments or suggestions for this program, email us at david.stradell at muskegon.edu or call me, Dave Stradell, at 231-777-0304. <laughs>